Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I want to talk to you about four things concerning On One Photo Raw 2024. Number one, within the next 48 hours, I hope to have on YouTube a masterclass quick start video on On One Photo Raw 2024. I haven't done a video like this in a while. And those of you that have followed my channel know that I always used to do a video like this when On One would release an update to On One Photo Raw 2024. My hope is that this video will help you get started using On One Photo Raw 2024 as quickly as possible. Now, if you haven't downloaded On One Photo Raw 2024 yet, they do have a fully working free trial. I have a link to it in the description below this video. You could download it and try it out and then look for my video, hopefully within 48 hours, which will help you use it. Number two, on my website, anthonymorganti.com, I have a free PDF of On One Photo Raw keyboard shortcuts. I'll have a link directly to this page in the description below this video. Number three, I also have some brand new, I just created them, Morganti On One Photo Raw 2024 presets. These are 50 modern AI adaptive presets for On One Photo Raw 2024. Categories include landscape, pop and sky, portrait, black and white, and a miscellaneous category. Now these presets, because they're AI adaptive presets, will only work with On One Photo Raw 2024. They will not work with earlier versions of the application. I'm selling them for $19, but because I just created them and just released them, I'll have them on sale. I'll have a discount code and a link to them in the description below this video. Finally, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install my On One Photo Raw 2024 presets. When you download them, they'll be in a zipped package. You need to unzip it first. Simply go to wherever your download is. I happen to have it on my desktop and double click on it and you will unzip the file and you'll have this single on one file. Now to install this on On One Photo Raw 2024, right click on it and go to open with. Now you can just double click on it and it will install in On One Photo Raw, but if On One Photo Raw 2024 isn't your default app for this type of file, it will open up in a different version of On One Photo Raw uh, that is not compatible with the presets. So make sure that you right click on it, go to open with, and you could see that my default app it is showing is on one sky swap AI. This file, these presets will not work in that app. That's why you need to right click on it and then go down to on one photo raw 2024 right there. Click on that. Now on one photo raw 2024 will open and you'll get this option. This will install Morganti on one 2024 presets. Do you want to continue? Click yes. And then hopefully it will say the preset package Morganti on One 2024 presets has installed 50 new files, 50 presets. There were no errors. Hopefully it says that and click close. Now go to On One Photo Raw 2024 and you'll notice that when you're in the edit module on the left hand panel, you'll have a presets tab. Now, if you don't see your left hand panel, you may have it closed. You could open it and close it by clicking on this icon in the lower left hand corner. When it's open, you'll see right here are the presets. Now they are AI adaptive presets, so you may not want them here. You may want them with the other AI adaptive presets that are in on one. To put them there, make sure that you're in the edit module and go up to file and down to manage extras. The first tab is the presets tab, and you can see that the Morganti on One 2024 presets are right here. I want them in the AI adaptive presets folder. Simply click on them and drag them and drop them in that folder. Now you'll notice they're right there inside of the AI adaptive presets. And if I close down the extras manager, you'll notice they're not here anymore. They're inside of the AI adaptive presets right here. Now, few things about AI adaptive presets. Uh, they use AI to find specific things in an image and then 
depending on who made the preset, specific adjustments will be done to those things. For example, you may have something done just to the sky or something just to the grass or something just to a person's face. And it uses AI to find those elements in the image and then apply the adjustments to just those elements. Because it uses this AI and does all this sophisticated masking, they're rather slow. So it's not just my presets that are slow, just AI adaptive presets in general are very slow. So be aware of that before you buy mine, that they're going to be slow. Also, I want to mention one kind of complaint I have concerning on one's adaptive presets is quite often they don't seem to do much. Uh, for example, let me go to on one's landscape uh, presets. These aren't mine. These are on one's presets. And let's just click on, I don't know, desert glow, let's say. So I'm going to click on that. And you'll notice then we got the spinning wheel. It's slow. It has to find the elements in the image and then it will apply the preset. And at times it may not look like it's doing anything. So you need to be patient. So you could see how long this has taken. Then it's in progress and then eventually pop it applies the preset. Now there's before and there's after. As I mentioned, one of my complaints is their presets don't seem to do much. They're more like Lightroom profiles. Well, they'll slightly adjust the image with some effects, and then you go in and you do your own editing on top of it. I took a different approach. I have my presets uh, do a lot of editing to your image, sometimes too much, but I did that on purpose, and let me explain. Let me reset this image and click OK. So it's now an unedited RAW file. Let's go to my AI adaptive presets right here and let's go to landscape and let's just click on, I don't know, land and sky. So we'll click on that one. And again, it's going to take a moment to render, but once it does, you'll notice a lot more was done here and it may in many instances be over processed, but I did that on purpose because each preset, if you hover over it, has a fade button. What you're able to do is come in here with this fade button and just pull it down until it's to your liking. And in my opinion, it's a much better way to develop presets knowing you have the fade button because. With the on one preset, it barely did anything, and the fade button only goes down. It doesn't go up. So you can't do anything to make it like more intense, but you could do a lot to make it less intense. So you could go and try these other presets. Now, in this video, I'm not going to sit here and go through all 50 presets because you could see it's taking a long time. But at the end of the video, I will show you images that have the presets applied. So really, that's it for me speaking in this video. Four things. Uh, within the next 48 hours, I hope to have a masterclass quick start video on On One Photo Raw 2024 available on YouTube. Look for that. If you didn't download uh, On One Photo Raw 2024 yet, I'll have a link to it in the description below this video. Number two, on my website, I have a free PDF download of On One Photo Raw keyboard shortcuts. I have a link to that in the description of this video. I have these presets that I just created. I have a link to that and a discount code located in the description below this video. And finally, let's take a look at the presets. thought that I would make it this far Never thought that it was possible to On the stairs where you broke your arm On the night when I heard your name Didn't think that I would see you again Didn't feel like it was possible to Doesn't feel like
alright And it's okay It's just that nothing's lining up the way you thought it would But the sun's out It's your birthday Maybe we'll both end up somewhere that's better off for us